All right, good evening. I hopefully you've had a chance to mingle a little bit. Hey, how are you? Um, and um, had a chance to share at least a little bit of information about one another with some of the other guests that are here tonight. This is a notes of inspiration gathering, informational gathering, I think is probably the best way to describe it. What I hope to do tonight is to give you some information about what Notes of Inspiration is, who I am, <laughs> and how you can plug into um, this creative arts series. So first, I want to tell you who I am. Um, some of the faces I know, and actually some faces I don't know, which is good. That means that we did a great job networking since our last gathering. My name is Samantha Cardwell, and I am the principal of um, Scardwell Productions. Um, Scardwell Productions is a multimedia, multifaceted entertainment firm. And what we do is a lot of different things. We, um, what I realized as a child is that I'm a good networker. <laughs> I mean, I, I had no problems, you know, on the playground making friends and introducing friends to other friends. And so what I decided to do with those kinds of talents is to um, do the same thing with my own business, Scarwell Productions. So I've made a number of creative arts friends, um, multi-talented, multi-faceted, I mean from every genre, from actors um, to spoken word artists. And my, my concept really came from the idea that, gosh, we're all doing these creative things. I mean, this is like really, really positive stuff. How can we translate that to the community and what opportunities are out there for us to um, better our community. And that's how Notes of Inspiration sprang. The first Notes of Inspiration event will occur, um, mark the date, it's uh, January 20th. And that's going to be a very important date because it'll start a series of 12 events, one each month, third Friday of every month, of a platform that has both artists who are showcasing you know, performing whatever it is that they do, but also teaching. So what I saw here in Atlanta is that there are a number of open mics, for example. You get people that come up and they, hey, I, I got the best rap or I got the best um, spoken word or, you know, I do this thing the best. But I wanted to expand beyond that because it's beyond just you showcasing what your talent is. I want us to showcase our talent in a, in a lasting way. And that means sharing the knowledge, sharing what your passion is behind that talent. So if um, you're an artist that paints, I want people to know what, drew, what drove you to start painting and how did you learn how to paint? How many years did it take? How many years have you been doing this? What were some of the high points and what were some of the low points? So that people can kind of really um, appreciate that talent and how this translates to the community is I realize that are a lot of our youth out there that don't realize that there are some creative things that they can do. They have talents, they're just not sure how to hone those talents in. So um, this was a platform that I thought, you know what, I'm going to connect these creative, talented people with the youth who are looking for things to do and we're looking for things to give them to do. And what better way to do that than to have a real live person who says, hey, you know what, I've been doing photography for 20 years. I'm going to tell you how I first got interested in it. You know, I saw this girl and she looked so cute. I took a picture of her and that was how it blossomed. Because I think people can relate to those kind of real life stories. Um, the other aspect of this um, community connection is finding those organizations that um, cater to youth um, so that they can provide to us talent. There, we have a lot of talented uh, youth in Atlanta. Um, I'm just going to call out Alex because I know Alex is one of the youth that's here. But um, Alexandria is an awesome, awesome vocalist. Um, and so I want to be able to give a person like Alexandria um, an opportunity to showcase her talents, one, to hone that, that skill, but also um, to show other youth, hey, wow, you know what, I heard she did a show at, you know, Notes of Inspiration. Why well, am I going to tell my friends? Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to start out by um, maybe just drawing. I would, there's, it's like Russian roulette. I don't, <laughs> there's no, you know, method to the madness. Um, so I'm going to start with, 
with you, Ron, if you will just grab one of, one of your pieces and uh, share with our audience what it is that you do. First time I met Samantha, I felt her spirit. She has a beautiful spirit and uh, carries through in everything that she does. So I feel privileged to be part of this venture, not some inspiration. I do sculpture. I do it in wood and stone. I actually started off in wood, in stone. Um, I was telling some friends of mine that I was watching a, uh, I was actually surfing the web, and I came across these artists who work in stone from Zimbabwe, the uh, Shona artists, from the Shona tribe. And I was inspired by, by the beauty of their work, and I, I decided that I would uh, try to import their work, but it was very expensive. So I decided to actually try it myself. And uh, at that time I was living in New Jersey and I went to New York and bought some stone, some soft stone, and I started working. And uh, I enjoyed doing it. I worked to us in, the, in, the, in nature. Um, simple things that we look at, there's beauty in it, beauty in it. whether it's stone or or a you know, flowing river or, or a tree or skies or whatever it is. And I feel privileged that I can actually work with something like this and create something that speaks to my soul and hopefully is of interest to someone who looks at it. And um, it's, you know, it, looking at the original piece of wood, it doesn't really show much, but I saw in it something that I could bring out and I call this babes in the wood, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> so uh, this is what I do. I like doing it. I get woods from all over the place, usually from woods that are discarded, trees that are blown down. People cut trees down and they leave it out on the side. And I, I go and I ask them, can I have that piece of wood? I like, I like working in... Uh, my favorite woods are black walnut, which is a, it's a hard wood, but it's, it's very easy to work. And you can get a lot of, uh, you'll see some other pieces there with, with black walnut. And it's easy to get a nice tone and a nice coat from it. I, I, I bring woods from abroad, from Guyana, from Jamaica, and uh, just, that's what I do. Please join us, Mr. Tyrone, because I want you to explain to people what it is, because I'm sure a lot of people don't know about the microphone. Okay. I used to be a drummer when I was, you know, when I was five years old, and finally around 1975, no, 1977, I moved into an apartment complex in Baltimore, and I tried to play the drums in there, and I had a neighbor upstairs that every time I would hit, she would hit. <laughs> so I would hit the drums, she would take the drum and bang on the floor. <laughs> so I got mad one day, and I just grabbed the drums, and I threw him in the trunk of the car, and I went speeding down to the music store. The store closed at 5. It was caught up. It was raining. And on my way to the store, the red light changed, and I slammed into the back of a car and hit a man's brand new Cadillac. Wow. And he said to me, there's no damage to my car. You keep on going where you're going. He was a preacher. Got to the store one minute to 5, and I took him in, and I says, there's a nice set of Rogers drums right here. I says, what can I get for these drums? And he said, look around. And I saw an old wooden xylophone. I ended up getting a xylophone. And then I ran into a flute player and a guy that taught music. And he kind of like taught me what the notes were on a xylophone. It's a melodic instrument. And it goes very nice with melodic instruments. So if you put a set of vibes and a flute together, or a set of vibes and a violin or a saxophone together, you can create a very sexy sound out of it. But uh, what I really like about the instrument is that I have two of them. I have uh, an electronic one that you hook a module to, so on that module you can be any instrument you want to be, but on the concert vibes you can only be a vibe player. The beauty about the vibes is that um, to a lot of people, it is an instrument that, is, that, that, that you don't see that often, so it's kind of extinct. But if you're into concert, or if you look on football fields, you normally see them on the football field, or on the football fields. But it is a very melodic instrument, it's, it has a lot of color to it, and if you got, if you if you develop the taste that it requires to really play that instrument very well, you can be you know, really really good at what you do, and you can really really captivate your audience with them 
I haven't reached that level because I'm still trying to be Roy Ayers and I'm still trying to be that person. <laughs> and everybody keeps telling me, be you. Yeah. And so what I'm working on now is being me on my instrument. And um, I guess in one of these events coming up, you will eventually see him. Mm -hmm. um, um, if you will see one of them, the electronic one or the other one, because the, the concert vibes are so big, you need a roadie. <laughs> but the electronic ones, I can kind of like put in a guitar case and carry them around. But you will see them, and, and hopefully I will be able to um, enlighten you with some really color to the instrument. And I know I'm not the only person that's like that, because I know a lot of you who do <laughs> about four or five different things. And that's the kind of thing that I really want to share um, with our guests that will be at the Notes of Inspiration. Uh, so, Jay, are you ready to do something with your feet? I am a child of the king, <laughs> and everything else takes care of itself. My name ain't important, who I am, what I've done, and where I've been, all that ain't relevant. But whose I am, that's the most relevant. So what I do is I travel the world, uh, inspiring people to live their purpose, their destiny. Tap into your destiny. I just stand out. But they give you lectures like teachers give handouts. And if your plan is different from their plan, you can't come to them with your handout. Seems like they'd rather see you on the corner with your handout. They're trying to arrest your dreams. But you don't have to put your hands out. <laughs> To your destiny. The best part of your life is in front of you, it's not behind you. I'll end on this. Say gifts and talents. Gifts and talents. In this room right now, there's an artist that can sculpt. There are potential authors in here with more fiction than you than Pope. Somebody here has the passion to teach, but you won't because of the pay. But at the end of the day, there's a child or adult looking for hope. And you just might be their ray. I mean, somebody here might have the passion to preach the word, but you won't. Because a religion says you can't. Now that's absurd. I mean, maybe you have the passion to bake. You want to start your own business, but fear has you conditioned to work 30 years in somebody else's factory. Kind of like cheesecake. You ever heard of the term, use it or lose it? The best part of your life is in front of you, but only if you choose it. So stop the land of inevitable. Keep hitting snooze. Well, my name is Janae. And I represent Journey Jeray. Um, my daughter and I was 12. Um, we pretty much we do all the jewelry, we handcraft everything. This is just something that we just finished um, two days ago. Um, my fingers are still numb <laughs> from all the beating, but um, as you said, the work is very therapeutic. Um, we're new in starting a business, however, I have been crafting since I can remember my first memories with my grandma. Um, working with paints, oils, um, you name it, I've done it. Um, I've also sewn handbags um, by hand. Um, pretty much everything I do is by hand. I love crafting. Uh, and um, I'm not sure, I, I had a friend ask me the other day, she said, well, I said, I said something to the effect of, well, I'm not an artist. And she said, well, where do you draw the line? And I said, well, you know, photography and painters and sculptors and I make jewelry. <laughs> and she's like, no, you, you are an artist. So um, to get to that point in my mind to believe it, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. And, um, you know, it's just something that we hope will continue to grow. And in the meantime, we're just having fun. Um, let's see. You go. Stylish she, Miss Nishante. All right. and I specialize in accessories and handbags and vintage clothing. 
and that actually blossomed and I had uh, opportunities to come into wardrobe styling. So that's my biggest passion. I um, style, I do personal shopping, I do closet consulting, anything that has anything <coughs> to do with fashion, that's what I want to do. So I live, fit, breathe it, eat it. <laughs> you know, I wake up and I'm like, ooh, that can go fat. <laughs> and like three o'clock in the morning and my husband is like, please get in the bed. <laughs> but I'm playing dress up. Um, so that's who I am and that's what I do. Um, I just started my very own fashion blog about three weeks ago. Right. And I'm so very excited about that. So I'll give you all the cards. We can all go like fan page. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's me, the Shantae Stylish Shoe. Hip Hop Fusion Ensemble, which is G5G is one of um, Elected America's Best Praise Dance Group. Okay. But um, we're also one of the top ten dance ministries in America, and the accolades are fine and all that kind of thing, but really God has just given us, a, 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 just growing us to a larger platform to, um, to really give him glory and for others to be inspired. And our main goal is to encourage others to live a purpose-driven life. Wow. And so EJ is our youth director, by the way. So... Um, we're just this proud is of him. Monique Barashango. Just a little sample, but yeah. he's a, a great, great hip hop artist, and um, he's also our youth chaplain. So. Okay. Awesome. Without further ado, um, I will proceed in expression dance to everyone. We must reaffirm our commitment to nonviolence. This is a time for action. Social, political, and economic change. How do we go from here? Well, I, um, I think we've had enough sharing. I, I, I don't want to foreshadow too many people. <laughs> you know, I kind of like want to save it. Like, oh, wait, no, no, I don't want everybody to see everything. But um, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate everybody's time. I appreciate your attention. I appreciate your willingness um, to become a part of Notes of Inspiration. I know that this won't be the last time that we see one another. I know that this won't be the last time that you see one another. <laughs> Um, this is networking at its best. Come and join us at our very first Notes of Inspiration event, and that will be held on January 20th. It's called the official launch party of Notes of Inspiration, and we'll meet you at Jerry Farber's side door. It's 2753 Roswell Road, Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30305. It starts at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. Well, thank you for tuning in with us, and actually we're hoping that you were able to see something that sparked your interest, either you as an artist or maybe you as a community leader or someone who has an interest in creative arts and knows someone that has a talent, a talent to share. If you are a person who possesses a talent, or if you know of someone that has a talent, we'd like to know who that person is. Please reach out to us at info at scardwellproductions.com. We're constantly, constantly looking for creative artists of various types. I'm talking culinary artists, photographers, sculpturers, dancers, authors, even motivational speakers. We're just looking for people who are ready and willing to share their creative talent with us. We want you to tell people about us. You can also do that by going to the Facebook page for the Notes of Inspiration. That's www.facebook.com forward slash two, the number two, B-B-E inspired. Hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.